Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your oh, weekly singles a love reading for Sagittarius. Let's see what's happening. Single Sag, new love prospects, connections. There we have four of wands. It's in the opposite. So there's some kind of divided energy to do with marriage commitment happy home life okay or the financial foundation there's some kind of division here okay a little divided temperance so lack of perspective so somebody here has a lack of perspective okay they may not see things the way you do okay so it's an energy of somebody it's an energy of just pulling back so you may have someone here that you're just not on the same page with you may feel something is off here yeah nine of coins rewards for labor so you're looking out for yourself looking out for yourself to do with your house your home your money so there's definitely something to do with that here whoever this person is somebody you're going to be dealing with or have been and we have the moon so there's trusting your intuition this your subconscious may be telling you something is off so we have the king of wands there we go yeah the king of wands is an energy of somebody definitely a natural born leader but they may be keeping a secret now this could be someone who just wants to be single or they may not be trust how you feel your intuition i feel something is going to feel off sorry guys and then we have, yeah, so it's strings attached. So this is where there's some strings attached. You can see this card's coming out. The opposite energy. This is somebody who likely won't reciprocate. They kind of want to keep things to themselves. Their house, their home. Yes. But I feel it's telling you to look out for yourself. I feel like you will. And maybe you're feeling this way because of this person. Now, it's right in the heart of the reading. So, like I say, this is someone who generally goes after they want, but there's some strings attached. Okay. So, we'll see what that may be about. They could, like I say, they could be actually in a relationship. Uh, six of cups yeah a comforting connection this is what you want so i feel this is where you're going to be trusting your intuition this is someone who's secretive keeping something to themselves strings attached they're likely not going to uh, reciprocate give you what you want they're keeping it i feel it's somebody who's probably acting single and they're not or they just want to be single strings so there's the energy of the six of cups so it's an energy of i feel here sort of reminiscing here but it has to do with a comforting connection. So, yeah, six of wands, pride before fall. So watch your ego. This is somebody who definitely has a big ego. So this is someone's pride getting in the way. But it could be someone who's just looking for attention. Okay, this is somebody who's date, probably either dating other people. Yeah, somebody with a big ego. So I feel this is an energy where you may be reminiscing. Maybe you're thinking about this, but it has to do with yourself here. You want a comforting connection, okay? So really what, and they could be someone who has children too, maybe married with children. Now, there's some strings attached here. Like I say, this is someone who likely just comes in when they want attention. Yeah, ten of coins, family legacy. They could be someone who has children. They want to keep everything to themselves, their children. But And I do feel they're successful. They're definitely somebody who's a leader. They definitely are, uh, I feel, chasing that energy. But I feel this is somebody who's a bit of a runner. So if you chase after this person, remember your lessons in the past, pride before the fall. Yeah, this is definitely someone here, I feel, who just kind of wants what they want. They come in when they want attention. I feel they're trying to, they could be a business owner. They want to keep everything to themselves, okay? The family legacy, and that's what I feel, because the other side of the cards is the love of money. So <laughs> I don't always see that that way. It ha I feel they're just somebody who has money, and they want to keep it to themselves. They may have children, family legacy, uh, some of you could be getting some kind of inheritance here too. So I'm just going to bring that up often when I see that energy. But I feel someone's pride's getting in the way. I feel they have an ego. They definitely are take a lot of pride for everything they worked for. But I don't think you're going to be on the same page. I actually feel this is somebody here where something just feels off. I don't think they're a patient person either. They, if you don't give them what they want, they'll get it elsewhere. Yeah. King of Swords, see? Yeah, you may have some choices here. Like I see some choices. Now, this is somebody who's very wise, very logical. Okay, but it's also uh, an energy of somebody who's analyzing and strategizing. So there's someone here who's very strategic. 
You see, I feel they're keeping secrets and I feel like you're going to know something is off. So sorry, guys, but at least you're getting a heads up. OK, just watch for the energy. Let's have a look at the four of wands. Why is this here? Yeah, the high priestess. See, you trust your intuition. It's like you're already kind of know everything you need to know. You see, this is you trusting your intuition. There's something doesn't feel right. It's off. Cause I and I do feel there's somebody who is strategizing, very analytical. Okay. Um, you might have a choice between two here. Um it's possible if you have a choice between two, you may be just looking out for yourself, looking out for number one because you feel something is off. Okay. Yeah. Who is this King of Swords? Oops, that came flying out. Yeah, you're going to cut someone out. You're going to be very discerning. See your inner knowing. It's like you already know. You know who this person is. I feel like you know about them or you're going to be discerning. Yeah, see, this is the energy of shining the light, looking for clarity. See, this is where you know something doesn't feel quite right. So this is your inner wisdom telling you. And it could even be advice from someone. Okay, somebody may even tell you, but this is a person who's soul searching their life path, looking for clues. So there's somebody here who's spending time alone in their head, analyzing their life path. Now, this could be something that happened. You may have someone who's missing you. Maybe this is, like I say, it could be, uh, you know, there could be a person here. This could be someone you already know, but it's telling you to, I feel like you know who this is. I feel like you already know. Yeah, see, there it is. This is an energy of someone stable, reliable, putting their best foot forward. So, like I say, it's about building the foundation. Somebody didn't reciprocate. They didn't want to, you see. Now, they could be soul searching this, but I feel some of this is yourself looking for clues, spending some time alone thinking. It's telling you to kind of look out for yourself. This is someone who looks out for themselves first, okay? So that's your inner wisdom. It's going to tell you here. Yeah, see, this is, they're focused on the wand. They're all about the physical connection. This is someone who doesn't really have any intentions of giving you anything. Now, if you do have a choice, I feel like you're going to be wise. You're soul searching. I feel like it's going to be you soul searching, looking for clues and answers. I feel like you already know everything you need to know. Somebody's going to be cut out. You're going to stop talking or reaching out to someone. They're not going to reciprocate. You won't get what you want. There you are. See, you know what you want. So this is very nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I feel they're either in a relationship, okay, or they don't want to get married. They want to be single or they're a single parent who's keeping everything to themselves. Now, if you're a single parent, if you are the one longing for love, you're going to look at this. You're going to see. I feel this is someone focused on the wand. Yeah, they find you very attractive. There's definitely a physical attraction. But I, it's telling you to be a little cautious because I don't think this person will give you what you want. I feel like you're no longer going to reach out. You see? This has to do with somebody here keeping a secret. They're keeping something to themselves. Now, it's possible they've started something with another person or you have. Because I definitely can see a person, if they don't get what they want, see, this is someone not giving you a lot of attention. They're just breadcrumbing, see? And this is where it flips over, where when you don't get what you want, you move on, you see? This is dating and courting, Sag, six of wands. This is an energy giving you a heads up here. Yeah, moving away to avoid a disaster, taking lessons learned from the past, the lessons you've learned, yeah, to look out for yourself. So I do feel like you may know this person, okay? They definitely like to come in when they want attention, but I feel they're chasing financial success. This is somebody who may be actually, too, being very discerning, looking for clues. They may feel like you're chasing them because they have money. You see, this is often the energy of the things that are hidden. It could be someone who has a fear of commitment as well. So, but yeah, it has to do with them offering something solid and reliable. But I feel like you're already kind of, you know, you know what you want. You're not settling for breadcrumbs. If, especially if it's someone who's in another relationship or they don't want to commit yeah, there's the energy of manifesting and mirroring. So this is the energy of gathering all the information. I feel like you already know everything you need to know. So someone who's manipulating, see, they may manipulate. They just want to be single. I feel they do. So I feel like you're taking the lessons you learn. It's telling you to look out for yourself. Look out for number one here. Okay, we got two single people. But I, one of you is definitely in that hermit energy looking for clues, see? Nine of coins, looking. Someone here may be looking to see if you're single. 
But I think you're going to soul search this. I feel like it's talk to the hands, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, because they don't come in right. So you're going to choose. So someone here where you know something is off, but it has to do with them coming in. They didn't come in right. So when I see that energy of someone who doesn't come in right, it has to do with this person who's definitely enjoying the fruits of their labors. Very analytical. I feel, I mean, it could be you, could be them, king and queen of swords, or it's something mutual. You're mirroring each other. You're both feeling kind of the same way. Okay, being very wise. It's like you already know. You know each other, I feel. Okay, but it could be just being discerning, making sure you do know everything you need to know. So it has to do with marriage and commitment. It has to do with somebody coming in right being fair. Someone was manipulating. They weren't playing fair. See, they came in when they wanted attention. But now what I feel is happening is, is you're, it's talk to the hand. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm looking out for self. You're moving on. You see, taking the lessons you learn and moving on to avoid a disaster. I feel like, you know, someone here. And now it could be where it's something that's already happened. It's possible. And this person could be coming in to offer you something solid. But again, um, make sure that you, I feel like you have the tools, you have the information, you already know everything you need to know. Okay. Yeah, I think you both, both kind of know what's going on. You're both thinking the same thing. Or is this how it starts? Okay. Yeah, but I, I feel with every, all these uh, cards upside down and I normally don't read upside down. I bought this deck thinking I'll just give it a try. I'm liking it. it it's okay. <laughs> um, but what I see here is this person coming in to make something right. Okay. But it's telling you to be, to make sure you look out for yourself. Okay. I see you, there's this distance time in between. Okay. It's also an energy of taking more time to get to know somebody. Yeah, I feel it's you're going to distance yourself from this person. They could be at a distance, but let's have a look at the magician. Why is this here? Yeah, and king of wands. There you go. Someone who's focused on the wand. You know, they come in for attention. They have a huge ego. So somebody who, you know, kind of a little full of themselves here. But what, a, yeah, see, they're protecting themselves, everything they worked for. See, they're holding back, not budging. But you're also protecting yourself. So there's, this is an energy of two people protecting themselves. Okay, thinking the other person's chasing them for money or they're just chasing you because of they're physically attracted. They don't want anything else. They don't want to give you anything. They're definitely protecting their money. But it has to do with partnering up and coming in right. See, we, I feel we have a person who's got a fear of commitment. Let's have a look at the hermit. Whoever the, I, I feel both of you are soul searching. You're looking for clarity. You both want to know the truth. You're both kind of mirroring each other. You're both in protective mode, not budging, not giving in, keeping things stuck. So everything's kind of stagnant, no talking. Okay, let's have a look at the hermit. This, is how, this could be how it starts or it's just giving you a heads up to look for the signs. Yeah, see, it has to do with this person going, aha, See, you both know, they know, okay, you know what they're thinking, they know that you know what they're thinking, that's what I see here, the truth, see, the aha moment, yeah, I think this person thinks you're chasing them for money, so they're in protective mode, but I feel that you're feeling that way, or you know they're thinking that, yeah, it could go either way, so let's have a look at this Queen of Wands energy, yeah, see, it's energy of new. Things becoming exposed. Everything's being illuminated. It's coming out in the open. It's going to be exposed. Some of you too, you may have another person. Like I say, you've got two king of wands and a king of swords. So like I feel, I mean, you may have somebody here with some Libra in their chart. I see some Leo, definitely Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. And some Virgo, which could be just an energy of a single person who's protecting everything they worked for. See, it's a person on their own path. This is someone who's a free spirit. And it could be yourself. Maybe you just want to be free. Okay, so it has to do with truth. Okay, speaking your mind, speaking the truth. Okay, I feel like you already know the truth. You already know this person thinks you're chasing them for money. Okay, or you feel, like I say, vice versa. But there's the aha moment. Someone looking for clues going, aha. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. 
going down a whole new path, talk to the hand, you're starting something new. They may be looking to see if you have. You may have cut this person out already. But look at that energy of going down the path. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. See, this is where you just know something is off. Intuition is going to tell you or you have someone giving you advice. But there it is, going down a new path. It has to do with um, somebody... See, it's the energy of stuck. Somebody's stuck, stubborn, refusing to budge. Somebody's being selfish. They want to keep everything to themselves. They want you to give. Give me attention. If you don't give it to me, I'll get it somewhere else. Yeah, I feel like you got someone who's not talking. This is why I feel like this energy of new. Talk to the hand. You have something new coming in. You're distancing yourself from someone here. You're taking the lessons learned. You want a caring connection. So you're looking at this. You're going to, um, with that temperance energy, you're going to pull back and see something is off there. And after a period, it's also an energy when things calm down. Okay, you've moved on some time in between transition. You realize this is someone who is um, protecting yourself, okay, or protecting themselves. And being selfish, see? Being stubborn, someone who just wants attention. Yeah. But I so that's why I feel you win some, you lose some. This is someone here who's just not right for you. And that's what I feel like you're going to realize. But what you have is someone who is. Yeah. See, you're being cautious, being a little careful what you wish for. See? Someone has kept all their feelings to themselves. This is somebody who's a little full of themselves. They want to keep everything to themselves. They may even be a little smug. Um, but what I feel, it's all going to be exposed, okay? I feel like you have someone new. I do see two king of wands. So I do see another person reaching out, okay? I feel like you're going down a path with someone more compatible. I feel like you just, maybe it's yourself just seeing the truth here, okay? That they're just not compatible, okay? You don't have anything in common, okay? But I actually feel like it's an energy of looking for that energy. See, starting something new with someone you have something in common with. Somebody who wants to build a foundation. This person doesn't want to feel, build a foundation. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. In the heart here. Wow. Yeah. I feel like you're looking at this, you know. I feel like you know. Yeah, you're definitely in that single mode, but there it is. It has to do with Seven of Pentacles investing. See, waiting patiently. You're no longer investing. You're moving on. You want someone who's kind and caring. You want somebody who wants love. Somebody who cares. See, kindness, compassion, longing for love, but not investing. So this is yourself because I feel like, I don't know if the timing is off or what happened here, but... That protective mode tells me someone's protecting themselves, protecting everything they worked for. Okay, they're not budging. Somebody who's selfish. So, And I do feel they'll manipulate. Uh, I don't think you're going to give them what they want. I feel like you're going to break free from this. Uh, I feel like with the Nine of Cups, you're being very careful what you wish for. See, you want someone stable and reliable, someone you can count on. See, if somebody here isn't stable or reliable, you can't rely on someone here. You see, they don't want to give. They don't want to reciprocate. This is somebody who probably feels like I feel. They, there's something they're manipulating. And I feel like you know the truth. You're telling the truth. They're looking at this. I feel like you just want someone you can be proud of. But I also feel like you're protecting yourself here. I don't think you're going to invest in this. Yeah, this is someone keeping everything to themselves. A little bit full of themselves. A huge ego. See, yeah, I feel too with yourself because we, if, if they're in this deck, if there were two of every card, I could tell you, you mirror each other here. And this is why this is coming up closest to energy. See, you're also keeping something to yourself. You're protecting yourself from this energy. If someone is just looking for attention, see, there it is, the courting and dating. You got somebody new coming in. I don't think you're going to give in to this person. I feel like you know they're just selfish. They don't want to give anything. I don't think you're chasing them for money. In fact, I feel like you're protecting yourself as well here. But I see someone coming in who's very attractive. Now, the energy is the king of wands in the heart, focused on the wand. But it has the positive and the negative. One of them is negative. One of them is positive. So there's definitely an Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. I see something new. So, yeah, see your grounding. See, it has to do with money, protecting yourself. You're being grounded and sensible, practical. So it has to do with marriage material. 
See, I feel like you're, it's a lot to do with money and work. Okay. But I also feel, you know, this energy of building your own foundation. I feel like you're already successful. Okay. Or you're stable. I, I really feel like you're not interested in this person's money. At least most of you. Everybody wants someone who's stable. I mean, you want someone stable, financially stable. Um, and, and someone you could be proud of too, you see. That's a lot of the energy here. But I feel this person here is definitely uh, someone who's quite stubborn and stuck and selfish. And I feel they're even a little bit smug. I feel they manipulate. I feel they very analytical. And I think you're going to clue into this. There you are, open. So you're open to other options, see? You are marriage material. Maybe some of you don't want marriage just yet, you know? It's possible there is some of you here that you're protecting yourself from someone who is chasing you. But you're also protecting yourself from someone who's, you know, a bit of a player, okay? Somebody who could be married or seeing other people. Yeah, I mean, this Queen of Swords could be another person cutting them out. <laughs> this could be somebody else cutting this person out for the very same thing. But I feel with this energy, it's yourself being discerning and wise. You know the truth, see? Been there, done that. Multiple, you have other opportunities. You know, you know, you know you've definitely been there, done that. You're moving on. You've got multiple opportunities coming in here. So this is yourself making choices. That's why I feel like you've got something new. Uh, this per You're going to stop giving to this person because they're breadcrumbing. They're not, they don't want to give anything. They want to keep it all to themselves. But you're also protecting yourself and everything you worked for. So this is why you need someone that you have something in common with. I mean, for some of you, I can see here where you have multiple opportunities, being a little overwhelmed, too much going on too fast. Somebody who comes on pretty strong and fast here, you know, where you could be just in protective mode. But it almost looks to me like there are some of you, not a huge amount, but some who also are protecting everything you worked for. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like you're open to something here. And I don't know if you're open to it. Some of you are open to an open relationship. But do make sure you uh, trust your intuition, okay? You want someone who's kind and, compare, kind and compassionate. You're lo I feel longing for love, okay? Now, you could have a person who's missing you, and this is something that's happened. But I'm getting the vibe here of timing, okay? Waiting for the right time, investing. See, you're no longer investing in somebody who's not reciprocating. I think you got a new person coming in. I feel like you're open to dating. You may actually have someone here where they come in. See, they're looking for clues. Somebody is looking for clues and they're going, aha, you have other opportunities. So maybe it's yourself. <laughs> maybe you're a bit of a free spirit, some of you. Some of you may want an open relationship. I feel like it's almost like you mirror each other in so many ways and i can see it but i also see this person you know it's an energy of both people think the other person's manipulating by holding back and not budging you're both thinking the same thing for most of you that's what i feel protecting yourself everything you work for keeping yourself safe especially if someone's playing the field seeing other people so there's something to do with seeing other people. Maybe it's something you said or maybe you've cut someone out and you're like telling them you want to see other people because they're not giving you, they're not giving you any attention. In fact, they could be giving it to other people. But there it is. See, a cycle ending, things going in your favor. You definitely have someone wanting to date you. I do think you're being cautious. You're only offering so much. Okay, you're only offering so much. That's what the Empress does, just offers a little. So it's like the mirroring, but for different reasons. See, you're protecting yourself. You're only offering so much because you don't want someone who's giving attention to others and they come in only when they want attention. The ego, see? It's definitely the ego energy. Yeah. Wow. See, there's an energy of releasing things that no longer serve. You know your worth and your value. See, you, this is like I say, I feel both people, you're attracted to each other, but you're both thinking the same thing. But I feel yourself, like I say, I mean, maybe it's this person um, or you know, been there, done that. Okay. Lessons learned from the past. <laughs> 
Releasing things that no longer serve. You know your worth and your values. It has to do with your hopes and dreams. I feel like you're about to get something you want. I feel like you know this person will never give you what you want. Okay? Or they're just not giving you what you want. I do think you're focused on money. Um, you're stable, grounded, you know. I feel like there's someone here you're maybe just not seeing a future with, but it has to do with things you have in common, compatibility. So it has to do with cooperating and compromising, taking off that panel, panicle. So it's possible this person, it could be them coming back in. But I'll tell you, just all you have to do is trust your intuition. I feel it's an energy of been there, done that. Yeah. You have a new opportunity. Yeah, I think you have a new opportunity. I don't think I know. Somebody who's more stable. See, this is someone who's keeping everything to themselves. Possible business owner. could be inheritance, money, their house, their home, their financial foundation. But they're very attracted to you. They're attracted to that high vibrational energy. But I feel like there's something new. So I feel if this person comes in, you've got something new here. I feel like you're just speaking your truth. I, I, but I still feel very strongly that this energy starts out as two people think of the same thing. You both think that you're um, being manipulated by the other person. Okay. <laughs> King and Queen of Swords. Very wise. Okay. Very discerning. Questioning. Very logical. So like I say, it's an energy of manipulation. Yeah, maybe a little mind games, but it really looks to me like you've got someone who's keeping everything to themselves or even a little smug, okay? That's what I feel. This, But this is you knowing you're not going to get what you want from this person and you're not going to give this person what they want. You're not giving in and not budging, see? But I do think you're releasing and letting go. I do think you have this person coming in who wants to date you. So let's look at who they are. They're offering. It's an invitation. Um, they could be at a place where you may go to where this person does business. This is often an energy of someone, of a place where people spend money. It's generally a safe place. Okay? But it has to do with someone stable and reliable. I feel like you know you can't rely on this person. But let's see who this is that you're open to. See the cycle ending. This is getting off that emotional roller coaster. Things start going in your favor. You're not budging and giving in. You know your worth. So if it is this person coming in, dating and courting, like I, I feel, it's telling you to play it safe and be cautious. See, you're being cautious here. It's the heads up that something new is coming in. But I do think everything's going to be exposed. I feel like you just have a person who didn't put their best foot forward. And in fact, I feel like we got two people who think the other per each person's feeling like they're being manipulated. But your intuition's going to guide you, okay? Trust it. It's here twice, the moon. Things that are hidden, some kind of confusion. It's when things are confusing. It doesn't feel right, you see? Yeah, so who is this Knight of Cups? Who's this Knight of Cups? Somebody you've been waiting for <laughs> or someone who's been waiting for the right time, who knows your worth and value. It could be someone who's admiring you. You could have someone who's admiring you, somebody new. Yeah, You know what you want here, I'll tell you. You're doing you, I feel, focused on money. You're doing you. Uh, beautiful energy, I feel. It's either yourself waiting, something you've been waiting for. See, I feel like you're no longer waiting for someone else. You're getting looking elsewhere. But this is, like I say, or it's a person waiting for the right opportunity. So beautiful energy. Been there, done that. Multiple opportunities. This could start this way where you have someone comes in. You're going to trust your intuition. Something feels off. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at the three of... There we go. Yeah. Six of Pentacles, somebody reaching out. So there's somebody going to reach out. See, you're no longer giving to somebody. You're no longer talking. You're moving on. You have another person. I feel like you're open. This is somebody showering abundance upon you, reciprocating. See, the positive and the negative here. Wow. I'm not seeing the world of someone coming back around. Okay, but if this is something that's been on and off, it is possible this person comes in to reach out to see if you feel the same. But I feel like you have a new person wanting to date. Dating and courting. 
Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. What does this person want? What are their intentions? Yeah, it's an emperor, somebody who knows what they want. Their intentions is to reach out, to reciprocate. Yeah, they want this to be successful. They're planning and preparing for success. They are successful. Very interesting. Yeah, see, releasing. I. It could be this person leveling up. I got to tell you, somebody coming in to tell some kind of truth about success, victory, I, I kind of felt it already up here that this person may. If this is something that's been on and off, it has to do with this person chasing. Somebody definitely chasing success. They want a victory. So they're coming towards you, dating. They're going to reach out. Yeah, They have an ego. Someone's releasing their ego. Or you're releasing somebody with an out-of-control ego. Yeah. There's both people with an ego here maybe too. Yeah, so there is the ending, see? Ending a situation, uh, letting go. So there's a transition, some time in between. So you have a person. This could be someone coming back around. I, I don't have to see the world. If it is something on and off, you're, the Empress is waiting. We are waiting for this person to shower abundance, for things to go in your favor. And I feel they will because you're open to dating, you see? And maybe that's what you're doing. You're just keeping yourself open because of this person or past relationship situations. So, yeah, you've got someone showering abundance. They want success. They're planning for success. Okay, I feel this is very positive. You have a very positive emperor here, but you're ending something with this other person or it's just an energy of someone's uh, ego's taking a hit. This is often the death of the ego where someone releases the ego. They stop being stubborn and stuck and they come in and offer you something solid and reliable. So I definitely see that scenario. Tell me more about the six of wands. Where is this headed? It's an energy of someone chasing See, you're not chasing this person. See, it's this is their ego taking a hit, the death of the ego. You see, thanks, but no thanks, it's not good enough. There's your beautiful Empress energy. Way to go. Yeah, so you don't want someone who comes in just looking for attention, where they just want attention when they want it, but they don't, other than that, you don't hear from this person. They only reach out when they want something, the physical. Yeah, they're attracted, definitely. But I see you being in a high vibrational energy. And I do see new. So I can say it could be someone new, but it could be this person coming back in with a new energy. It happens. Yeah, so there it is. See, it's an energy of indecision. Someone failed to recognize, failed to see. So it looks like if you have Libra in your chart, it looks like you're going to make a choice. Maybe there's something you failed to see. But I actually feel it could be this person failing to, uh, unable to make a decision. Someone failed to recognize they missed an opportunity because they were being selfish and stubborn, stuck, refusing to budge. It could go both ways with the mirroring, but I still feel some of you have new right here coming in. Okay, so yeah, something you've been waiting for. I feel the ship has sailed too little too late for someone because I feel like you're getting attention from someone who's coming after you. It's a person who's definitely successful. They're planning and preparing for success. They dress for success. You see, so this is what you want someone successful. Why wouldn't you? You want someone you can be proud of. But I feel you have a person who feels that way too. Somebody who also wants someone they can be proud of. Someone who's uh, grounded, practical, sensible, has a comfortable home. Someone who's focused on their foundation. See, it's an energy of two people being comfortable with each other. I feel like you're going to know something is off. It makes you feel uncomfortable. This is somebody who's going to make you feel safe and secure. They're coming in to show you they're stable. You see? That's that's why a lot most of you, it's just new. Um, but... If you've been seeing someone and you've had this going on, like I say, you got other opportunities coming in. You may be speaking the truth. Maybe you're telling someone, hey, thanks, but no thanks. Been there, done that. I have other opportunities. But if you had someone who rejected you and maybe that's how you replied, hey, no worries. You know, I have other options. Maybe that's something that's happened here. You know, the ego sometimes gets, because it's the ego's here twice for both people. You see? So I feel there's a need um, to kind of look at that energy if that's what's happened for some of you where 
you have somebody who um, wasn't giving you a lot of time and energy you only heard for them it appears you know maybe you feel like they're married or they're hiding something or they're secretive okay but i also feel there's someone here who admires you i feel like you possibly could have a person around you who's maybe waiting for this to clear up somebody wants to start something but it could be this person kind of going aha where they kind of go ah i see I hurt their ego because I, I rejected them kind of energy. See, I wasn't reaching out. So that's, I feel for a few people because the ego's here twice. See, someone rejected you. Maybe you reached out to them. Maybe you tried to start something. You see, it goes both ways, the bearing. But I, I feel as though you're, most of you are just moving on. I feel like you have an emperor. I mean, we have an emperor and empress here, two people. Yeah, it's the release of the letting go of the ego, releasing it. Someone here feels they missed an opportunity, but it's also an energy of being unable to make a decision. See, not making a decision till somebody comes in right. So you maybe start getting a lot of attention suddenly, and some of you have to make a choice, but it has to do with someone putting in the effort. See, a person who wants to build. I also see a lot of inner work here because of the moon, someone doing that inner work. That's why I feel some of you, it's this person that you've had some dates with or you've had something on and off. This is a person who wants everything to go their way, right? They want their cake and eat it too. And then you reject them and their ego takes a hit. So it's telling you to be cautious. Be careful what you wish for. Don't offer so much. Be the empress. If this is someone who wants you, they'll keep coming around. They'll put in the effort. Okay, because I feel like you're no longer putting in the effort until they come in and shower some abundance on you. I feel somebody is going to, and I feel like you're open. But I see it, some of you definitely dating somebody else here, getting an offer and an opportunity. Yeah, you've got, see, there's someone here who's not really your type, or you feel something is off, and there's someone here who's just right. <laughs> So take it as it resonates. Okay? If there is somebody you've been waiting for and you've been wanting to connect with this person, and maybe they rejected you, okay? And it, you know, the ego got in the way and you told them, hey, no worries, I got other options. <laughs> Being very sharp, you know, just speaking your speaking up. Mm-hmm. So I say there's a, definitely an energy of two people mirroring each other, thinking that both people are manipulating. But I feel while you're waiting, here comes something new, regardless. So that's a soulmate connection. Yeah, there you are, emotionally fulfilled. See, it's an energy of someone who wears a, their heart on their sleeve. This is two people putting all their cups on the table, sharing their innermost selves. It's also sharing those fears, the things that you're afraid of. Okay, it's an energy of expressing your emotions, not keeping them to yourselves. But this is beautiful. You have this beautiful opportunity. This is really, really positive. But again, if it feels off, it feels off. Okay. If there's something here that doesn't feel right, take a little pause and look at it. I feel like it's very positive. I see emotional fulfillment. Two people putting themselves out there, putting their cups on the table, opening up emotionally. Yeah, I feel it's an energy of just being wise, seeing the bigger picture. Yeah. I feel it's just yourself being your higher self too, you know, where you see the bigger picture, you realize here something maybe you didn't see because it has to do with being patient. See, patiently waiting. While you're waiting, you're focused on you, focused on your money. You're looking out for yourself, very independent. I feel like you're very independent, okay? But I feel there's lessons, see? I, see, I feel like you're going to move away to avoid a disaster, because it has to do with waiting patiently to invest. Now, I don't know if they're at a distance, but it's like you're distancing yourself. Yeah. Somebody, I feel like it's possible this person could come in uh, where they failed to recognize their ego, that they weren't invested, they weren't reciprocating, maybe in giving you enough attention. But I, I feel most of you, you're definitely going. Uh, you've got an emperor coming in. You could go to their place of business. It could be a boss. Um or they come into yours, but they want to build. And it takes two people to build, okay? Two people. So that's why I feel for some of you, definitely the release of the ego, both of you. <laughs> okay, 
not missing opportunities here. So there's some kind of a decision. See, a judgment, a decision. Some of you, there could be a reconciliation. But others of you are making the decision. You will make the decision, okay, to release and go for the new if it's there, okay? Yeah, you can see here this offer. See, someone compatible who's willing to cooperate and compromise. Someone here is not willing to compromise. They want their cake and eat it too. But it's interesting because you've got a very positive emperor. And that's why I feel like the emperor is releasing the ego, coming in a little more humble <laughs> for some of you. So it could be a fear of commitment. But can I say, if you feel something is off and you have a person who's keeping secrets and you, you just feel something isn't right, like I say, maybe you're just going to tell this person who comes in where you feel something is off, okay? Your intuition's telling you. You may just say, hey, I'm just keeping my options open <laughs> till the right one comes along. Then you're not committed to taking any offers, okay? If you're just a little unsure here about what it is you're feeling or seeing with this person. But you're still moving towards happiness and emotional fulfillment here, okay? You know, it takes two people to build, emperor and empress. Take care, Saj. A little more positive than the last few weeks, I feel. And we will see you soon.